Hey y'all, this is my little quick Nellyville review. Um, where's my lip gloss? <laughs> well, this starts off with Nelly and Miss Jackson. They go on a drive so they can have a talk with the kids about Nelly's arrest. And he takes them on the tour bus and he's like, I just wanted to apologize to y'all, you know, for any pain or embarrassment that I have caused y'all. I don't want y'all to feel disappointed in, in me. Basically what happened, you know, nobody, you know, everybody knows that Nelly is not an angel. So he had a wild little party after the concert on the tour bus. He had a bunch of people that he shouldn't have had. Basically, a bunch of random ass people he didn't know. And yeah, you got to do better, Nelly. And he's like, you know what? Now I'm trying to correct that. I know I tell y'all all the time that you got to watch the people that you bring around you. Well, you know, he going to have to practice what he preach. So, you know, they're all happy that he's all right. He tells them he's got it under control. Lawyers and stuff is working on it. But, yeah, Nelly, you're going to have to do better. I know when I heard that, I was like, there's no way that those drugs were, sorry, y'all heard something at the door. There's no way that those drugs were Nelly's drugs. He just don't need it. Like, you got your own show, Nellyville. You got Real Husbands of Hollywood. You know, plenty of royalties and stuff coming in. You got these kids that look up to you. I know that he wasn't stupid enough to, like, e why would he even be selling drugs? Like, basically, I believe it was a hundred little bags of, what was it, cocaine or something? Or Molly, some some type of drugs. I forgot it was some months ago when that story came out. But it was like, I know he's not stupid enough to do that, but he definitely got to watch the people he have on. Now you're going to have to run a tight ship. So, he didn't apologize to him. They forgave him or whatever. Um, Nana, she goes and talks to her mama, who was her best friend. And she tells her mama, you know, she's thinking about basically getting her nose fixed. She feels like, you know, everybody in her family has a very structured nose. And hers is different. And her mom is like, well, it's probably because you were, you know, 32 weeks when I had you, you were premature, and I noticed that when you were born, but I didn't, you know, I didn't even ask the doctors because I was just so happy that you were healthy. So, I mean, I'm, at first I was like, why would, damn, you gonna say that to your daughter? But then it's like, okay, I guess she keeping it real with her. And then she told her, look, if you want to, go have a consultation with the doctor. Now, now, later on, ends up going to the doctor. The doctor ends up showing what he can do to her nose on 3D. And I'm like, I don't even see the difference. Now, now, sweetheart. What's up, y'all? This damn camcorder died on me again. I got to get me a real charger cord or maybe another battery for this damn camera. Uh... Cause this shit is getting old. Anyways, I just wanted to say, Nana, you do not need anything done to your nose. Okay, you are fine the way God made you. And the, the work, the little 3D shit that the the doctor showed you, I didn't, I don't really see the difference. I don't know who did. Y'all can tell me if y'all saw the difference, but I didn't. Okay, I really don't see the need for it. So anyways, they're out, of course Nana lives in Chicago for school, and um, Lil Sean comes out there and visit because JGE Retro got a, a show to do. Now they out there with they dang on managers, and immediately I'm just like, they managers just seem so whack, like... Maybe they just brand new or something, but they just, just seem like they can never get anything done. So whatever, they out there, they checking out um, basically this designer so they can get some clothes for their video. And 
they end up getting ready for the whole show and then they get news that they're not even gonna do the show and the manager's like well we went to go get the rest of the money from the promoters and they just gave us a bunch of excuses like uh um just a bunch of like it's like come on now excuses i get it. there are janky promoters out there but y'all done got all the way what the hell it's a mosquito on here y'all done got all the way out to chicago to do this show and then you find out the night of that you ain't gonna be able to do the show because he ain't got the money the promoter ain't got the money like come on y'all got to get on your shit Y'all really do. I'm not. I'm. Mm -mm. I guess they they just knew it and they need more work. But yeah, they need to get it together. So you know, little shine. He want his advice from his unk, and his unk basically telling him, look, you know, y'all need to get on it. <laughs> oh shit, what did I do? Anyway, his unk telling him, kind of laughing, like you know, yeah, just kind of get on it. Y'all need to get on it. Stuff like that happens, but you can't be dropping the ball on stuff like that. One, that mean, uh, you know, you was about to have a show, so all these people was about to come to the show and it get canceled at the last minute. That made y'all look bad. It don't make the promoters not even the managers because they only know what they come to see and that makes y'all look bad and that is not good for your brand it really is not so whoever dropped that ball they really need to get on it because that looks horrible anyways next i i couldn't even finish the um <laughs> the episode for some reason but miss jackson goes and takes uh nelly to the hustler AKA this little sex shop. And they picking out all kind of freaky stuff. She put something on her tongue or her lips or whatever. And it's supposed to go on, you know, the lips down below. I'm like, ain't this a family show? And she put that on her tongue or whatever, or her lips. And she's like, ooh, my mouth, my tongue is vibrating. He like, oh yeah, we're going to get that. So they bought up a whole bunch of stuff from the sex shop. She did that basically to just keep his mind off of everything that's happening right now because this damn world <laughs> it's, 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 it's getting messed up crashing down right now from having basically a bunch of irresponsible people on his tour bus so Nelly got to tighten up on that but I'm glad that they still you know a family and that they forgive they uh, can they understand that it wasn't his fault and Nelly knows that he needs to get up on his business. So, good for them. Alright, um, I should go back and see if I could finish that. For some reason, I couldn't, I believe my internet was acting up because I didn't watch it on TV. And I couldn't finish the, like, the last, I believe, 10 minutes of it. But yeah, I'm still, I'm going to give y'all the link to it. So, that's it. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at Josh. I mean, y'all be easy. Peace.